We actually finally got the boom arm with us. Yeah, boom arm can stay up here right now. Exactly where I want it. So no biggies anymore. That's uh that's good. That's good. Okay, let me see if the the volume on the boom arm is good. I think it is, but just to be sure, gotta check the string. Hold on a second, please. Hey! Yeah, I guess you guys can hear me quite well. Cool, that's actually awesome. Fantastic. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is awesome. The, uh, the boom arm and the blue Yeti Plus. Blue, blue Yeti X, actually. Oh boy. My, uh, my mobile is, uh, having tr issues here. <laughs> okay, okay. So, how's everybody doing? Everybody's cool this evening? Okay, let's bring it down just a bit. So that you are about the best area for my mouth for today. Because today we're just gonna ride. Very easy. The idea is to ride in a very easy pace, actually. Let me try something, because. Uh, oh! Will this work? Uh, no. <laughs> no, because it's not selecting the correct place. I'm sorry. I I'm using a wireless keyboard. And, uh, I don't know how these things go. So, uh, gonna, first of all, yeah, I don't know the commands actually. So, uh, oh, okay, so message is happening, that's good. Cool. But, uh, not sure how we're gonna type and uh, also participate on on uh on the race itself or on the climb or whatever this is hello yeah these guys are are interesting Well, <laughs> this uh, should be called a herd ride. <laughs> I mean, everybody here is from herd. Maybe just a bit further, I guess. Or the very least, like this. So that I can actually watch the, the chat from here and also the in game chat. Okay, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, oh wow, yeah. <laughs> so my understanding is that this thing, this uh, today's ride is just uh, Bonjour. Yeah, uh, this ride is just a social ride. I mean, with them these, we're just a, a group of people that like to, you know, 
<laughs> just fool around and do those kinds of shenanigans. So today is going to be pretty, pretty simple. Uh, just a, a nice lap, I guess. I'm here for about an hour. And that's it. Just because I have a... I have a race tomorrow. Rather, we have an appointment tomorrow. <laughs> As in, we have a climbing race. Uh, slight change, the red beacon will reach our all right. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh boy, he's worried about me. Yep. Okay, so I think I can uh, definitely touch the other one. Uh, I can you know, just uh, do a nice recovery, right? The idea is not race, not do anything like that. It's just enjoy. Oh, what happened? The music just died. Music? Oh, my stream just died. What the? What? The entire stream died. Uh, guys, but uh, I'm still getting, I'm still here in the game. Not sure what's going on. Uh, who? Oh, no. What's uh? Oh wow. Oh, I, I think we're back. Hope we're back. Let me get out of the stream and get in again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're back. Uh, sorry about that, actually. That was strange. That was really strange. Uh, right, so... Um, as I was saying, this, this is just a social ride. Oops. Again, I closed the stream. Uh, yeah, this is... Uh, oh, come on. Sorry, technical issues. There we go. So, uh... We, uh... This is just a... Um... A social ride, so it's no... No biggie. Apparently my bit rate is terrible. No idea why. Was doing fine just a moment ago, and now it's completely another shattered. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm actually loading up this those me messages because uh, uh, fortunately I don't know how to keep a. Uh, the, uh, the the messages up. So if I want to read the messages that went before any given time, it's uh, basically impossible. In any case, <laughs> so we're here for uh, let's put it, let's put you here. Turn, turn you a tight bit. I'm sorry about the, the noise, by the way. Uh, I guess now it's better because you're now microphone is facing the same direction as my mouth. <laughs> it should be better. We'll see. Uh, doesn't really matter for me. I know that today we have. What? What's that? Ah, uh... oh, hello, Melon. So, uh, yeah, today, um, I think we have a, actually, I don't know, I don't know what the course is, I'm saying, 
I'm saying stupid things because I do not know what the course is. I'm trying to think what the course is. Hello there, Steve. Actually, I think we go... Oh, it's just... Yeah, okay. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it is. How are you guys doing? I'm guessing you're all doing fine. Um, so uh, today is really just normal ride. I need I need a recovery after the three days of intense riding and before tomorrow's race. By the way, next week we'll have a little change of plans, but I'll only only uh, announce it uh, uh, next. Uh, let's see. I think it will be on Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday? Gotta check my calendar again. What are the two? Uh, yeah. Uh, someone is going way up ahead. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> right, so. Let's see. Well, today the work was dismal. I love I love my work. Don't get it. Don't get it wrong. I really do love my work. But today was like I don't know. It, it felt weird. We did. We stayed on meeting. We had a meeting in the morning. It was like four hours. Oh, sure. Let me just answer to this. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, I forgot to ask that, actually. Oops. Uh, what? No idea what was that. <laughs> I've never seen that screen before. <laughs> right. I'm just gonna kick here in the back. Uh, I don't think anyone... Acknowledged my uh, my question at minute eight. We'll do intervals, yeah, sure. You can do intervals, my dude. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna recover. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot be bothered to do any sort of intervals today. Sorry, sorry, Steve, if you're listening to this. Uh, okay. So, as I was saying, I do love my, my job, I do love my work, but uh, today was really, really strange. I mean, in the morning we had like a four hour meeting, and on that, and on, on that meeting was like, uh, we got, let's say, 20% done of what you would achieve during a four hour work shift. If you were to to work alone, you know what I mean. It's like uh, that's usually what happens actually when you are on a when you are in a meeting with everyone else because most of the time you're just asking this. People are just asking the same questions twice, thrice, four times, and it becomes really boring and really 
I'm satisfied to do that. So, you you become frustrated. After a while, you become like, hey guys, I think we need to. Uh, we need to actually break the the meeting and. Uh, it was actually lunchtime, so I said I need, I really need to eat something. And then, uh, and afterwards we, uh, well, we, uh, we, 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 we um, get got back in the meet in the evening, in the afternoon actually, not maybe maybe it's now, and uh, finish the eighty percent that was missing. So. If we didn't have the meeting on the first part of the day, we would probably be, you know, um, oh, we got to get a, a towel. Great, awesome. I really did forget to bring a towel. Cool. Guess today I'm gonna sweat like a damn pig. Right, so anyways. Um We met up in the in the afternoon and then consider that we uh we saw that the work that was done in the morning was like empty work, so no work at all. And uh everybody was a little bit oversaturated from work, so our meeting in the afternoon was much more efficient, much higher productivity, just because everyone wanted to go home, or rather stay home if you're working from home, just my case. And I just have a nice, a nice time overall. Okay, I really need to turn on the lights. One second. I do not have time. Oh, come on. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Getting back, getting back, getting back. Damn it, we don't want to do this. Yeah. Ah, now I'm gonna have to bump it up a little bit. stick with these guys because uh, everybody in front especially getting away <laughs> yeah I, <laughs> I was gonna ask the same question like I'm on totally job. Like 
Oh boy. Let's, uh, I'm sorry about the different subjects, but I, I gotta help these guys out. They are struggling. Quite a bit, actually. I'm not really sure that the times here are represented correctly. Yeah, I'm actually trying to get the suit to go with me. Oh, what the fuck? Sorry. They are about 11 meters away. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. I'm gonna maintain about 2.5, 2.6 here. Uh, guys. Actually, I won't stop pedaling here because I see that people are getting way behind. I'm gonna let the sweep past me. <laughs> Go on, Owen and Terry. No, Melon. No. So let's sew these guys up. Right. So what I'm actually thinking of doing, we're approaching a climb. We're actually pretty close to the climb. So uh, thinking about Making a stop for it. Huge! Grab myself. Oh, oh dear. Hey, Horror Paul. Hello. <laughs> Hello there, my dude. Thanks for the follow. Jesus. <laughs> you gave me a star out there. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting this. Okay. So for you. How are you doing, Rudy Paul? How's everything going with you, man? All good? Whew. Okay. And here we are on the hill. We are doing about 3.2, 2.6, 3.2. We're not gonna push hard today, again. 
We just want to climb this steadily. Michelle is actually going for it. Holy moly. Well done, Michelle. Well done, you. Keep on going, girl. Right. Ta-da, my super. Yeah. Uh, you should not fall behind. Otherwise, I'm going to have to sweep you back again. I mean, come on. Oops. I forget that our Captain Hey Ho Steve told me to not push beyond 2.2. <laughs> and uh, I guess 5 is not on the menu. <laughs> we're doing just fine. For the time being, we're doing just fine. Where is. Oh my god. There are 12 seconds behind. So, what I think I'm doing. Let me see where we are going now. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going left or right. And we're going left. Cool. What I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build us some speed here. Drop off the bike. Grab a towel. Come back. And I should be able to tow everybody that's on the back, actually. One minute. Actually, 20 seconds. Not even that, actually. <laughs> I thought I was gonna do 20 seconds, but not even that. <laughs> okay. Uh, no idea how I'm gonna tow everybody in the back, because they are really behind. I mean, 24 seconds already. Promise, it's almost a lost cause to go and tow them. But, uh, we can manage. Let me see if they need... Uh, they're, they're gonna do PRL full next week? Cool. <laughs> Not sure if they're doing it. Oh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this will help me, actually, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where is everybody else? 20 seconds behind. That's a lot of time, man. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So they are... They are waiting for the supers. Let's go, let's go. So, um, again, I, I was talking about work before, but uh, work is not actually a good, <laughs> a good theme. Let me speak to the team, Pedro. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, um, I was just asking. <laughs> he said it were doing a PRL full, so uh, whatever. By the way, I'm Pedro, if you haven't already noticed that. Uh, okay. So we're 10 seconds behind. People are about 10 seconds ahead. We can, uh... We can do this. We can do this. I think we can do this. It's gonna be interesting. We are... Let's see. They should be doing about what? 30, average 32, 35 pace on the on the sprint section. Oh my god, am I gonna have to stop again? I guess that's the best action, right? Like just stop it right here. I'm actually gonna hit A. There you go. So now, uh, just so you know, if you hit A on the keyboard, you get into the parent screen. Oh boy, there they go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now, now it's time to go. Now it's a race. Fuck. Jesus. That was uh, way too, ma too, too much. <laughs> uh, right. 
That didn't go through? I told him it was another dropper. I said it wasn't. <laughs> this time it wasn't. Okay. Oh, when I thought I actually cut up. That's good. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> this is not working today, huh? <laughs> My god, this is, looks more like a... A training... A spring training than anything else. Alright, they gotta help Melo now. So I think she's <coughs> struggling a little bit. And she's 13 meters already behind us. from you though. Electronic gearing! Oh wow, why would you use electronic gearing? <laughs> why would you have electronic gearing, honestly? <laughs> I mean... I, I get it, electronic gearing when you are outside or if you are a pro. So, like, exactly, if you do outdoors bike, totally understand it. Even though I should point out that the you have to actually measure the amount of uh, maintenance costs that you actually have in order to buy electronic gearing, in order to justify having electronic gearing in the first place because look it costs a fortune first of all unless you bought the bike with electronic gearing already which is another hard deal but if you're thinking about switching it costs a fortune man. you don't have to buy everything but you gotta buy you gotta buy new shifters you gotta buy front and rear der derailers Gotta buy a battery pack that is fit, that is capable of fitting on your bike. New cables, and uh, if you're using disc brakes, new cleats, new clamps. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, they are still not interchangeable. Perhaps. Wait, hang, hang on. I think the new newest version of Shimano is already interchangeable. But in any case, you're looking at spending what? 
700, 800 euros on a on a semi kit actually because they're still gonna still stick with your crank set same one that you're using which means worn out gear in the front same with the back uh the set is the same chain you still need to replace so and those three are actually the the ones that go um that you have to spend more I mean, I have been, I've been doing rides, outdoor bikes, outdoor bike uh, rides and uh, indoor bikes for the past 10 years already, or close to 10 years. In these 10 years, the amount of money that I've paid in maintenance is exorbitant, but I, I did the calculations and for, in my case, only recently, I think it was like mid last year. That I would have paid the cost for uh, switching to an electronic gear set on my first bike. And my first bike, it's on Brazil, it's on my home country. So it's not here. I haven't used it for the last five years. <laughs> and it has like a, a two generations lower. Two, 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 no, sorry, three generations older and two, two levels lower gear than I have on this bike. And I've ridden it with this bike way more than I've ridden it with that one. So, if, it, if in this case here, it's still not justified, I don't really think that the, there is a justification for switching the electronic gears on the other case as well. Uh, I just think it is a waste of money, honestly. It's not the same as saying with disc brakes, because uh, say disc brakes is another conversation altogether. But my my view on it is that if you're buying a new bike, and uh, and the trend on the cycling industry, it's almost forcing you to go into disc brakes. Then you really have no choice. But, if you have the choice of going rim brakes, and you pedal, let's say, let's say you ride anywhere between 100 to 200 k's a week, which is no small amount, it's a lot of riding, You're talking about what, let's say you ride 25 k's an hour, 8 to 10 hours riding, 6 to 8 hours, sorry. Six to eight hours. That, that's a lot. That's a lot of time that you have to spend. And that doesn't seem much, but if you think that you're working 40 to 60 hours a week, that's about 10% of your working hours. <laughs> so it's a lot. It is a lot. I mean, I do a lot more than that, but that's just because, one, I love this thing. I talked about it this uh, yesterday, I think, at the end. Why do I keep smiling when I'm on the bike? And why do I, even even though I'm feeling the most atrocious pain ever, and you can see that if you look in the the YouTube tag here, you'll find a lot of races. Just check the recent one. There are chapters there, so you can find the excruciating pain that I actually gone. So, and you'll see that I have a, a smile afterwards. Or, there might be the case where I'm like, I feel, I, I look down, but it's not because I'm down in the sense of being uh, dis uh, dissatisfied or um, sad about writing, about, uh, you know, about just. Just uh, just just riding in general. I'm I'm mostly dissatisfied because or disappointed because uh, I didn't perform as I uh, was needed. I, I didn't turn up to the task like yesterday. Yesterday I did a 3.5 average for 20 minutes on the uh, 
on the team time trial. Owen here was on the team time trial as well with me. Yesterday and Steve as well. We're three on these team time trial. Latest, latest one. And uh I should have done at least 3.6. At least. What's for kill? It's uh it was pretty disappointing. When I saw my results, I was pretty down. Also, during the race, I couldn't do pulls. I was feeling tired the entire race. It's, uh, it was nothing like the last week, same time trial, when I was feeling confident and strong. I mean, part of it is because the day prior, I didn't a really, really tough leg workout and it, I, I was still recovering from that I won't lie <laughs> I was actually still recovering from that oh boy so uh yeah that didn't help <laughs> but uh, again it was no excuse I still found my, my performance to be disappointing in any case I think that's that's how it goes I mean, one week you're feeling all good, next week you're feeling like crap. That's just, uh, that's how it is. I'll probably have to do a ton of work during the weekend. So next week will be probably the same. Which is a bad thing because I have some big plans for next week and the, and the following weeks. I'll talk more about that in uh, probably Wednesday. I think will be the official announcement. I'm still, I'm still working on some details. Oh wow, I didn't even see, but uh, we are now two groups. <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. Don't think everybody would be too sad about that. And we're pushing 1.5 as for kill. That's like laughable, but. <laughs> Those are what's for recovery, which was the intended objective of today, by the way. <laughs> yep. So, uh, in any case, <clears throat> let's see. For this week, we'll be having, I just saw, we're going to have actually two team time trials. Pretty stoked about that. I love team time trials. They're brutal. They are brutal but they're very nice they they build up quite a a good mix of endurance and aerobic efforts and a bit of sprint i mean you have to go i wouldn't say sprint but i'd say like a steady state to almost an anaerobic especially if they're going on the front um yeah not sure where they're gonna they're gonna end today. Are they, are they going up the volcano? 16.2 Ks. In any case, we're doing figure eight on uh, Tuesday with the Zwift Racing League. Uh, by the way, out of uh, I don't know how, I missed one ride, one race. The other one I had a dropout exactly when the the race was starting, which was a team time trial, by the way. And I'm still the highest uh, person in terms of points of the team. I don't know how. Honestly, I'm, I'm one of the weakest in the team. In terms of uh, watts per kilo and overall average watts. Like raw average watts. It's like, I'm, I'm a pretty lightweight guy. I weight 62. 61 and a half, 62 depending on the day. So. When I push 240 watts, I'm already doing close to my 4 watts per kilo. But uh, in a team time trial, that's bad. You would like to push at least 300 watts. So now I have to build my, my wattage, or I can do what I'm planning to do, which is increasing my volume a lot. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do on one of those days that I have planned, but for the other 20... I have something pretty cool, or I think it's pretty cool, in, in plan, and you'll be able to see by next Wednesday. Just follow through, follow our our socials to see what will be happening. This one, of course, and YouTube as well. It'll be pretty cool. But next week we still have some races to do: two team time trials, two races. Two opportunities for points. Be all good. All in the in the hopes of having good fun, having good workouts. Tomorrow we are having a climbers race. Do not forget. Actually, I checked today. Uh, I I, <laughs> I do apologize if of the schedule, because the schedule below here is wrong. Uh, race tomorrow will be at 9 a.m. Not at 8, so 9 is a uh, Central European, sorry, the uh, British summer time, the Western European time, WET Lisbon time. And yeah, we're gonna climb. Oh, it's gonna be tomorrow. Not sure actually. I don't know if it's gonna be a a bunch of one, but which one? Not really sure. Oh boy, these guys are actually pushing. Why are they pushing? It's supposed to be a social ride. <laughs> yeah, I saw the push. <laughs> okay, they want to push. Let's push. Ow. Still figuring out. How to do the stream with a bloody microphone standing like two centimeters away from my face <laughs> when I'm on the top of the bike. Okay, and we're back. Cool. Now let's take it easy. I'm not sure why they are pushing. I don't understand why they're pushing, but if they want to push, they can push very well. It's not a problem for us. <laughs> not what I had in mind, but hey, come pick your battles, right? By the way, uh, after the climbers race tomorrow, I gotta hit the gym for a leg workout. Another one. So it'll be interesting to go. Fatigued from race <laughs> and do a little bit more of strength training on the legs. It's gonna be tough. I won't lie, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to hit maintenance in a bit, actually. I'm now doing uh, gym workouts for strength, trying to build strength. So I'm not so worried about the, the weight, actually, in terms of my body weight. Not the weight on the bars. And, uh, yeah. Gotta, gotta figure out how I'm gonna pace myself during what's gonna happen next month. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Like they're pushing. Mm. Mm. Let me see, there's a piece of. Wait, huh? Uh, no, we're not racing. <laughs> we're supposed to be racing, actually. I mean, I'm sticking with these guys because. They are doing my recovery and endurance space, so for me that's all good. Right, so I think we should drop actually. Because we're already 20 30 seconds behind. 
very 30 seconds behind. Slowing down to 20. I'm not sure we're slowing down at all, but are we slowing down? Are we not slowing down? Guys, please make up your mind. Or actually, girls. I think this group is only made up of girls. Oh, there are two girls here. So Michelle is slowing. Cool. Oh, that's Michelle, actually. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, you're not ruining anyone's right, Terry. That's just how uh, our group work. <laughs> what? Wait, what? What's that? I mean, HR? 161 for... 1.8? Uh, yeah, we're supposed to be recovering, exactly. Jeez, man. What's going on there? Hope he's doing all right. Oh, by the way, I had a uh, pretty bad news this evening. Our very good friend, I, I told you about him the other day. Um, Robert Sherman, he's a, a very avid Swift writer. Did uh, heaps and heaps of the uh, restings here in uh, on Swift. On um, what's it called? The climb after the epic era, the radio tower. Yeah. Yeah, that one. So he did. I think he already did like 10, 10 or twelve Gavarestings on Radio Tower. Not to mention the ones he did on Alp. I think he did one on Vent Up. In any case, that guy, awesome, awesome human being. And uh, apparently, he unfortunately he had a stroke. He was uh, he was like completely out of the uh, out of connection of the net. You couldn't find him. I actually tried to message a few friends in, in the US. He's based in the US. Because we, we have been Strava friends for six years, I want to say. I guess. Six six or five years, something like that. It's been, it's been a quite a while. More than half my cycling, my cycling time. One of my oldest friends that I made in cycling. And someone that I really look up to. So, fortunately, he had a stroke, some brain bleed, brain damage as well, and he is just recovering. He lost part of the movement of his uh, his face, the left side, not exactly moving all of that much. It is a shame. I mean, the guy really doesn't deserve it. He was uh, he's an ex uh, army man. I think he's still on the army. Not sure. Not sure, but he, he certainly was. I saw his commendations. And afterwards I actually googled, you know, how it is with uh, Stolen Valor. But in, in his case, I, I already believed him beforehand. I just want to be 100% sure before saying anything out loud. And he really was in the, in the military. If I'm not mistaken, it was the army. And, uh, well, great guy, great human being, has some, he's already he's been married for a long time, has kids, well-established businessman. Now he was doing a doctorate on uh, theology, I think I mentioned that as well. Whatever your take on religion is, doing a doctorate is not easy, whatever the subject, and uh, theology which is one of the oldest subjects in human history. It must be really tough to do a doctorate on that. Like, how can you find... In, in some sense, I, I don't really understand a doctorate in theology because part of, part of doing a doctorate is finding innovation. Finding something that is truly new, novel, as, as is the term in academia, and uh, share that in a way that is replicable, that is reliable. 
so you gotta actually, you know, find a a, a spot or, or something that nobody has has found out. And whenever you're researching something that kind of stood still, but it evolved, but not so much. And it has such a, a, a rich history behind. It becomes very difficult to be novel. To be truly novel. So... Oh, what's going on? Yeah... Uh, I hope I'm not having issues. No, sorry. Sorry about that. I thought I was having issues with the computer, but I'm not. The other day this computer did some funny stuff. But uh well now it's I think I think it's all fixed. By the way, if you're asking why am I not going faster? Or or you know uh doing a good workout here. First thing is I actually don't wanna do a a strong workout today. It's because I'm doing a recovery ride. Second thing is we are waiting on Terry. Terry is uh, the fourth from the bottom up in the list to your right, and uh, he uh, he's actually struggling today. That's why I started the tangent on my friend with the heart stroke. Uh, the stroke, not the heart stroke. Uh, yeah. Gary was feeling palpitations, so we had to slow down, help him, you know, you know how this goes. And this today was just a recovery ride anyway. The idea is just go easy breezy, no, no major, uh, uh, no major bumps, just, you know, take it very chill for the afternoon. Actually, the evening for me now. It's already almost nine in the evening. So, and you still gotta cook my dinner. I'll probably already cook my lunch for tomorrow as well. Be the same as my dinner today. You know how this goes. Okay, so um, the 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 issue that I have now with the position of the microphone is that. <laughs> it's too far away that you almost cannot hear me but on the other hand I cannot make it come closer because if I come up I'll be bumping it with my head also it's very difficult for me to talk when on, I'm on top of the bike so I guess the best place to be is exactly where it is oh, one more thing is that I really I need to make sure that the the cable is not completely stringent in any place. Like it's not uh, completely tight, not stringent, tight. Because uh, if that happens, this is gonna break real soon, and I'm gonna be a very sad person if that happens. Because this microphone has like two days. I don't want it to break. I really don't want it to break ever. And it's actually pretty well built. Attention. This is my first microphone that is not like one of those $10, 10 euro thing that you buy on Amazon. Just to get things going on a video call where you hear more shh than anything else. So I don't know how to judge. Don't expect me to judge. What the hell, Steve? What's wrong with you, man? Uh. Right? <laughs> Not sure what was that. But in any case, let's move on. <laughs> so the the microphone is pretty well built. The arm for the microphone actually. Uh, arrived today. It's uh, also from Blue. It's a Blue Yeti X and a Blue 
Compass, I think it's called. Pretty, pretty sturdy. Ah, uh, it was. I'm not gonna lie. It requires a somewhat uh, technical degree on engineering to understand how to put the cables through the. There's a concealment place where you can actually conceal the cables within the the boom arm. And it took me. <laughs> I'm ashamed of saying, but it took me about five minutes to realize that it had to do was lift up these very little clamps so I used my keys <laughs> to lift them up and I felt such a dumb idiot after I mean what's, a, what's an economics bachelor's degree worth for or an engineering's degree if you can even figure that thing out I mean man come on <laughs> That, that was pretty sweet. That was pretty stupid of me, actually. Okay. We're up in the front. Not that that matters. Because here, yeah, really, it doesn't. <laughs> I, can get, I can keep doing this all day long, which is a good thing. Huge! So, I'm just trying to keep the. Oh! My god. <laughs> Hey, Swifting for Fitness. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, these alerts, they are gonna give me a heart attack. Thanks for following me, my dude. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Nice to see you by here. And uh, where are you from? And uh, how did you arrive here? If, if you wanna sh uh, share with us, actually. I'm sorry for my rambling, that's uh, just the way that I I do things here. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty interesting the other day, I was actually talking to a, to a friend, he was watching the VOD, and I was like, how the hell do you, can you keep talking to yourself during an hour or two hours non-stop? Unless you're doing like a strong effort. I'm like, have you, have you paid attention to the content? It's like, it's so stupid, so dumb, <laughs> and I lose myself in my train of thought so many times. <laughs> it's basically, it's the same as thinking. <laughs> the only thing is that I'm thinking out loud, and my thoughts are stupid as hell, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna try and, and make things here be beautiful or anything like that. So, Vermont, I'm starting my own Twitch channel. How oh, cool! Okay, so we'll, we'll probably be done in about 10 minutes here. Then uh, we'll go to your channel. Are, are you streaming right now? What's your streaming schedule usually? And uh, cheers to Vermont. Wow. The other side of the ocean, actually. Cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Nice to have you on board, man. Thanks for joining in. Oh, sorry, uh, let's have you on board. I, I use man just like a, a slur, uh, so don't take it personally, please. If you're offended, also reprimand me and I'll, I'll change. I, I'm really sorry about that. I have to stop saying that. <laughs> it's just the way that it's out. But uh, in any case, um, so <laughs> then, uh, uh, also this, this friend of mine was the same one that pointed out that I when I was watching the the race, the race recap, the race edits that I put on YouTube, he was like, "Hang on, are are you actually suffering? You do look like you're suffering. You're smiling, man. You're like you're doing a you're doing a 12, 13 watt per kilo sprint, and then afterwards you're just smiling." And I'm like, "Uh, yeah. I mean." <laughs> I do love cycling, <laughs> so <laughs> I, I hate the pain, uh, like everybody else I do hate the pain, but in, in a certain sense, I do love cycling, I do love what I do, so what I do here, when uh, Swift or what I do outside, when I have the chance, so not actually often that I do have the chance, just because my work schedule is so, so stupid nowadays, that it's very difficult to 
to get outside. Funny, funny, uh, funny stuff is actually. I used to be more of an outside rider than an insider rider, so. And I truly prefer to climb hills outside than climbing on Zwift. But uh, the thing is, on Zwift I can actually focus on the the workouts and the zones, which I guess is something that most people say. Like if you're using something like Zwift. RGT, which now is Wahoo, by the way. Great purchase, Wahoo. Great purchase. You guys are becoming the next Peloton. Just please don't. I, I, uh, I'm no one to tell you this, but I would evaluate what happened to Peloton before you start wanting to become Peloton themselves. <laughs> so, I mean, just saying. But again, who am I? I'm just a guy that uses your product and enjoy the experience of using it. That's it. I have no business knowledge actually. In any case, pretty cool that we can use Zwift, RGT, uh, Super Fast, let's say Ruby, and other platforms like that. Just you know to get a little bit more out of our workouts. Like, Having displayed in your front the zones of workouts, being able to tag them, to have a good schedule, to have a good plan, those are very important things. I cannot stress that enough. Those are actually pretty, pretty important. Yeah, and uh, that's the main difference from inside to outside as I see it. Another thing is, where I live, specifically the area where I live, I have to go like 45 minutes on a bike anywhere to find some mountains, to find some hills. So if I were to do some hills like Pronto, if I, if I really just want to, you know, get going. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, I have to, to go on to the RGT. I'd say unfortunately just because I have to stay stuck, like I cannot be juggling about. Not only because I have a microphone here, but the bike would bump. <laughs> bump up and down and actually tumble. On the other hand, it's uh it's so handy that I actually did my only Everesting here on RGT. I did uh last uh, last year. I did it during an event that the Hells 500 had planned. It was an RGT, it was the called Everesting the Everest. So way before the platform that they just launched for doing Everest, they tried that one. It was like a two week event and I logged in on the very first day. I was doing the Everesting Academy here on Zwift with the 3R team and the uh, World bike, horse, world, world cycling relief, I think it's called. The charity that delivers uh, buffalo bikes to Africa. They were actually organizing the Via Verestings, or the Via Verestings Academy, just because they wanted to do a very good Everesting on the 29th of May, if I'm not mistaken, was the date. But on the 1st of May, the, v the Everesting on the Everest event was on because I had Zwift or rather RGT I hopped on the bike which is the exact one here and uh, well <laughs> we stayed here for 13 hours <laughs> so and, and people ask me, what's the what's the most difficult thing to do on the on the long rides? Because I have done 11 and a half hours outside. I have not done 13, but I have done 11 and a half hours on a 325k ride. Uh, the most difficult thing of doing outside is uh, there are two things. The first is logistics. 
if, if especially if you're doing it alone like imagine you're riding for 40 50 k's and you're out, out of water where are you gonna stop where are you gonna purchase water have you planned that on the route if you haven't you have a problem and if you have Remember, that's an 11 and a half hour ride. Let's say 13 hour ride, 15 hour ride is what usually an everything takes for someone that is that, that can ride reasonably well. Um, so, imagine if you are outside, you start your everything at, let's say, 4 a.m., you won't be getting any snacks until 8. You have done a few laps by then, fortunately. You'll be tired, you'll be sleepy, and you won't be able to catch some food, so you have to go all prepared. But then you have to actually look for your things, <laughs> like where you're gonna park your your car, or are you gonna do it close to your house? Uh, if so, then good for you. If not, well, <laughs> plan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, the second factor so the first is logistics the, se the second factor is actually mental mentality so in my view that's my personal view from having done uh, I don't know I, I don't even know how many uh, century rides to uh, double century rides um, my, my main suggestion for everyone who's gonna do that is remember that you will hit a low you will hit a point that's inevitable you will hit a point where it's like I cannot go I cannot I cannot keep going I just cannot do it I don't have the legs I, I don't have the mental fortitude I don't have the ability I don't have the strength whatever is your is your excuse which is really an excuse that your brain is is creating for your own body so that you shut down the body uh, you have to remember that that's an excuse so so yeah you have to really Really think about that beforehand. And when that time comes, what are you gonna use? Have a strategy. When I say have a strategy, it's like, hold on, I'm gonna really do, like, I'm gonna think that I'm the best. Or I'm gonna think that I am. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, above everyone else. Not like that, come on. Not like that, but. I mean, if that pushes you, okay, good. But the idea here is. Create the strategy of, I'm feeling low. Uh, when I'm feeling low, I want to take something as a, um, a recompense, as a reward for the, the effort that I have already done. So I'm going to eat a pack of chips. doesn't matter who, if, if I'm full, if I'm not full. If uh, I'm just going to put some chips in my mouth because I love chips. Like, that's me, okay? I'm giving an example. And when you put the chips in your mouth, remember, okay, now I've done that, now I have gone to go back to the discipline. Focus. Focus. We can do this. Focus. Stay focused. And if you put your mind to do something, if you actually train your mind to be strong, you will be very surprised with the results. I guarantee you 100%. Very, very surprised. Like, I still remember to this day the very first time I did 100Ks. I was thinking like, I, I was looking at the, the cycle computer and I was like, only 20Ks. Only 30Ks. Only 40Ks. I was looking every 10Ks. By the end, I was looking every, every K. Every K, every kilometer was hurting. Every kilometer was count. And when I say by the end, it's like, 75 k's in I still had a quarter to go a quarter of the distance to go <laughs> I can do a little sprint here a 
guess the finish is strong enough. Okay, that's it guys. That's nice. <laughs> Mump it up a little bit my heart rate. It's good. Not exactly an explosive sprint, but it doesn't matter. Much more focused on keeping the power than hitting any high powers. So, mental fortitude, discipline, motivation accounts for 1%, discipline 99%. Remember that. And you will achieve it. I promise you, you will achieve. You can do this. Thank you so, so much for coming, for joining us. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> Doing the recovery right handy with the sprint. That was not clever, man. <laughs> that was really not clever. But in any case, thank you so much for joining. Thank you to our two new followers, Rudy Paul and Swifting for Fitness. Swifting for Fitness, I'm not sure if you're still here or not. I, uh, I'm i going to finish the, the stream now. I'm going to end. But uh, before that, we're going to raid you with whatever viewers we still have in here. And uh, gonna share experiences there. Cool. So guys, as usual, if you want to check the races below, you'll find the YouTube link. You can go to my YouTube channel. There you find many different races. Tomorrow there's a race at 9 a.m. Join us. We're live streaming from 8:30 forwards. That's uh, Western European time. The race will not be long. It is that format in which. Only the climb counts, so everything else in the race doesn't count, only the climb. It's a full out effort. Cat B, and it's gonna be tough. It is gonna be tough. Like, really, really tough. I, I saw the roster today, and it's not gonna be easy. Okay? So, as usual, take care, stay safe. And ride on.
Hey, hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the raid. It's just a chat of my delight. <laughs>